afternoon and welcome back to the channel we're here today with at the park with uh, Bluey and Lucy as you've probably seen from the uh, title of the video Jesus please give me $500 um, I'm gonna tell, start telling the story here while they have a quick run around now, I just like to um, say at the very beginning of the video that there's not my intention in any way shape or form to mock people's beliefs um, make fun of or ridicule um, that's not what this is about what's at all and i would appreciate any comments um, after the video is published remain respectful of people's um, beliefs and religions um, when it comes to religion you know, I really wouldn't know what deity it was, pardon the pun. Um, you know, my, personally, I like, um, I'm a, a fairly spiritual person. Um, Buddhism probably appeals to me the most because their tenet is question everything, whereas most religions rely on accept everything that you're, you, that you're taught. Um, but anyway, enough of religion. I'm just going to try and set the scene for you. This the year is 1995. Me and uh, myself and two other guys. We're in our early 40s. We've got young kids. We're renting this big house, which I will show you shortly. Uh, not that far from here, over the over yonder. In fact, you probably see it from here over on that hillside. And to support myself. I had a part-time job traveling all over the state uh, refurbishing tourist information signs they were called civic guides and I'd have to use my ute um, I'd have to take concrete and spare perspex and cleaning fluid to get rid of the graffiti um, I'd replace at once a year you'd replace the boards with new ones with ads on them you know, you might have seen these. I'm going to try and find some photos from a long ago um, to show you what these guides look like. But they're basically just a rectangle, two posts in a park like this with a map with you are here written on it and around the edges are ads for local businesses. Anyway, I had, it was about this time, uh, this time of year, back in 95. And I'd just been sent a whole heap of work, about three or four days worth of um, work to be done out at Bathus and Orange and Lithgow and Parks and Forbes, which are right out west here in New South Wales. But the only catch was, to do this, I needed five, at least $500 for petrol, uh, for fuel, um, for uh, accommodation at a motel, uh, fixings, bits and pieces, concrete, you know, you couldn't do it, you couldn't do it for less than $500, which is a sum that I didn't have. And this is the story of how I got that $500. Now I'm just going to, now I'm going to cut to the house where all this took place, right now. Now this is a civic guide. I don't know how well this is going to show up. That's the frame and inside you can see the board and it's covered in perspex and you can probably see the ads. You can't read them but you can get the idea that that's the ads that, uh, that I had to go around and collect once the new boards went in. You had to go around and collect the, uh, the money from the customers. So that was the, um, the civic guides. Back to the story. Dear viewers, is the house in question. Uh, three, three garages. That was Gary's, the middle one was mine, and the end one was Jack's for his Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's a lot of happy memories in this house. I had the be uh, Jack and I had the bed uh, bedrooms upstairs. And Gary had the uh, the whole of the downstairs to himself. We had a pool table. The, the children came over here. We had an absolute ball. They loved it. They all got on really well. Um, I thought I'd just show you the house so you, you can sort of set the scene. Uh, but now we'll head down to the main street. 
of the uh, suburb I live in to the scene of the crime. And here we are. Now I apologize for the noise. Gary brought me down in his car to this spot. He stood there, he took his money out. He took um, for something to eat. Um, he's looking at me as if to say, well, what are you gonna do? You've only got $3.75. The rent needs paying. Um, you've got Christmas coming. You're gonna have to buy Christmas presents for the kids. You know, you need to do something. So, I've got my card. I've taken it out. I've put it in the machine. I've looked at him and I've just, out of the blue, I don't know why I said, I said, Jesus, please give me $500. Press the buttons for account balance up on the screen. It's now $83.75. Gary's, I've looked at Gary, he's looked at me, he's gone, nah, he said, nah. He said, they won't let, that machine won't let you take it out. It's not gonna happen. So I've punched in the numbers. Sure enough, out came four $20 notes. So I put the card in again and said, Jesus, please send me $500. Account balance once more. Now there's $183.75 in there. So I've taken that money out. I've now got 260. I put the card back in again. Same deal. Jesus, please send me $500. And now there's 280. $280 in there plus the $3.75 punched it in taken it out I've now got $520 in my hand from this machine and it's not this machine obviously this is 25 years ago and we've looked at each other by now my hands are shaking I don't know what's happening here. I'm looking at him He's look he was white his face was white he couldn't believe it either his eyes were just bulging we couldn't believe what was happening and he said, put it in again, put it in again. I said, I'm not asking any for any more money, you know. I asked for 500, I got 520. I'm not gonna be greedy, you know. He said, put it in anyway. So I put the card in. And this time, as soon as I put my pin my number in, it came error, error, error. It all, the machine started to go crazy. Um, back then, I think they had a cover that came down. It spat my card out, I grabbed my card, and that was it, the machine shut down, and that was the end of it. So we ended up going back to the car. I've got this money clutched in my hand. I just can't believe, neither of us can believe what's happened. Um, I went away for the four days, did the work, had a very successful trip. Um, I got the, um, when I got paid, because back then the, the company I worked for, Civic Guides, they put the money into my account. When I got my, as soon as I went down to the bank and checked my, how much the balance was, it was exactly how much I was supposed to get, minus $520. The bank just took it straight out. Nothing was said. I never got any sort of um, communication, either a letter or um, a phone call or anything. Nothing in writing at all. The money got, just got deducted. It was like the balance was, was reset. And uh, away I went. And I've never asked for anything ever again because it was just so surreal, so mind-blowing for it to happen. And the reason I, I'm making this video is because I'm watching this channel and her name's Marie, and, and she is a religious person. They've got a lot of religious content in on there and I've been quite enjoying it, you know? I've got an open mind now. I've, I'm not ruling anything out. And it was her channel, watching her channel, that jogged this memory. Um, of this incident, which I'd buried. I hadn't forgotten, but it's one of those things that, you know, I hadn't thought about for oh, a decade, couple of, 15, 20 years, I don't know how long. Now, an interesting footnote to this story. I might just wait for these cars to go past. On the way home on this trip, the clutch slave cylinder went so I had no clutch it was a manual gearbox I had no clutch and the starter motor went so I had no starter motor so I drove 400 kilometers back home from from Bathurst on this back road um, without a clutch or a starter motor and on the way home I had a really really frightening supernatural experience that's all I can put it and it was it wasn't Jesus, I know that. It was something really frightening. 
and also when I got home now I've shown you that house if you saw those three garage doors you might have noticed there's a flat forecourt and there's a railing well there was an incident involving my car my truck still fully laden the next morning that nearly claimed my life probably the closest I've come to getting killed in a car so but I'll leave that one for another time I'm not going to touch on that I thought I'd just mention that in passing because it was in the same week it all happened at once so it's, uh, thanks for watching um, please um, leave comments uh, please leave one of your own stories the only stipulation I ask is just make it a true story because truth is always stranger than fiction and usually more entertaining um, please um, subscribe um, and hit that notification bell if you uh, if you haven't already and you want to and uh, I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching